In this video, we will learn about F distribution. What is the F distribution? F distribution is um, really nearly the same thing as chi-square distribution you have seen in the past. Think of it as a normalized chi-square distribution. It's a very similar process to taking a normal curve with raw data and converting it into a standard normal curve with z-scores instead. It's a very similar process of taking chi-square distribution and converting it into a, uh, the F uh, distribution. The shape of the distribution is same as for chi, as you can see it is skewed to the right. The lowest point on this number line uh, containing F scores is zero. And um, I will work with two functions on my calculator to answer these two questions that are given to me here. Let's read the first part. Consider an F distribution with 17 numerator degrees of freedom and 34 denominator degrees of freedom. Compute probability that F is less than or equal to 0.47. Round your answer to at least three decimal places. First, I always try to visualize what is given to me. I'm giving F distribution and I would like to know the probability, which really means area under the curve within the specified interval. What is my specified interval? F has to be less than or equal to 0.47. So as you can see in my picture here, uh, I find a location, again, I'm estimating where it is, of 4700 and I shade everything to the left of it. Please notice that because this curve doesn't have um, infinitely many possible outcomes, uh, on the left side, it stops at zero. My lower bound of this interval is zero. My upper bound is 4,700, and I would like to find the amount of area within this interval under this curve. And you may remember in the past when we had similar examples for standard curve or T-curve, we used CDF function. Uh, normal CDF for standard curve, uh, standard normal curve, and TCDF for T-curves. Well, guess what? Your calculator has a similar function for F distribution called FCDF. I need to identify lower and upper bound of the interval within which I look for the area. And um, in addition, I need to provide numerators and denominators degree of freedom, which are given in this example to be 17 and 34. Once you enter this into information into your calculator, you will get an answer rounded to three decimal places to be 50 thousandths. Let's take a look at how we can do this on the calculator itself. Please remember that um, normal CDF, TCDF, inverse norm, all those functions are located um, in distribution menu. To uh, get there, we press second vars. So that's where I'm going to look for that function. Here we go. So second, press vars to get into distribution menu. Scroll down or simply press zero to find FCDF function. Lower bound is already inputted because it's um, zero typically. Upper is uh, 4700. 17 uh, degrees of freedom for numerator. 34 degrees of freedom for denominator. Press enter a couple of times to get your result. Don't forget to round to three decimal places and that yields, as I said, 50 thousandths. Now we're going to learn how to use your calculator to find the result going in different direction. This time we will be given the area and we will need to know the F score corresponding to this area to the right of that score. Let's read the given information. Consider an F distribution with 49 numerator degrees of freedom and 34 denominator degrees of freedom. Find C such that probability that F is greater than C is 25 thousandths around your answer to at least two decimal places. Again, I try to visualize what is given to me first. I have a, um, a picture of F distribution 
and I know there is some point, unknown point, value, C, on this uh, F number line, that has 25 thousandths or 2.5% of data to the right of it. How do I know it is to the right? Because it says F, we need to consider all F values that are greater than this C, which means to the right of this mystery number C. Uh, typically, in this context, with normal curves and t-curves, you would have to use inverse function, inverse norm or inverse t. Unfortunately, if you search your calculator, you will not find that function on TI-84. It doesn't exist. So we need to find a way around that. And the way around it will be using the numeric solver, which you have seen us using with chi-square distribution in chapter 12. So we are going to do a very similar process. We're going to create an equation which says um, I have function fcdf and I know that there is an interval between 0 and c that uh, contains 97.5% of data. So if there's 2.5% in the tail, it means the remaining 97.5% should be in this uh, uh, look in this area between 0 and C. So that's what I'm saying. FCDF, find the area between 0 and some mystery number C uh, with 49 degrees of freedom for numerator and 34 degrees of freedom for denominator such that this function produces 97.5% of data under the curve within the specified interval. Let's see how we can handle this with a calculator. We press math, scroll up once to get to numeric solver, or just solver, depending on which calculator you use. And then uh, we need to type in here the function we see on the left-hand side of our equation. This is some old function I used in the past, so I could alter it or I could just clear this field and start anew. Go to second, press bars to get to distribution menu, choose option zero, for FCDF, input your information, lower bound is zero, upper bound is the unknown C, but easiest way on TI is just to press X to enter just a variable of some sort. Enter the degrees of freedom requested, press enter a few times, and this function is now uh, on one side of the equation. Change um, this next side, right hand side, to 0 0.975. Press enter. Don't forget to press alpha enter to refresh the result because that is some result from the past calculations I have done. So alpha enter. Give it a few seconds. This is the new answer for this particular question now. It is equal to 1.91 when rounded to two decimal places. Please note that if you have an older version of TI-84+, Plus that doesn't have um, the display the same as the one I demonstrate in the video, your calculator will not allow you to enter area of um, 975 thousands on one side and uh, FCDF function on another. It only allows you to set up uh, the equation using the equation solver uh, with a format of zero equals something. Th there is a way around that issue. So here is our current equation. FCDF with given parameters is equal to this area um, between zero and unknown number C of 97.5%. Please notice I could, let me show you, that um, I could simply subtract 0 0.975 on one side and of course subtract 0 0.975 on another and that will give me a zero on the right hand side and both FCDF minus the area on the left hand side. If I uh, change the order of these two sides and put this expression on the right side and zero on the left. Instead, this is what it will look like. So when you use your numeric solver or simply, I think it's called solver 
on all the calculators. If you use that solver function, you will, um, when you choose it, you will see a zero equals, and then there will be a cursor blinking, asking you to type in what you need to type in. Well, <clears throat> you'll have to type in this information because zero equals will be already provided for you when you get into solver function. Just use again second vars to type in your FCDF with the given parameters, press enter. Then don't forget to subtract the area of 975 thousands. Press enter, press alpha enter again, and it should give you the same solution that I obtained using this um, newer version of TI-84.